are you holding here, Mike? The t-shirts they gave us. Or is that mic on? Corey, talk into it. Corey, talk into the mic, please. Corey, speak into the mic. Let me get a level. Okay, are we up and ready? All right, Mike, uh, let's start off with comments, parallels, analogies. Okay. To what? For this, comments are that this is probably the most far out appearing festival. The production is great and the talent is great. Yeah, but, you know, it's, it's really interesting because you really are in a, in a different land from what I'm used to traveling. You know, you're in a different culture even. And the, the uh, human environment here is really interesting. I walked around last night uh, before the Grateful Dead came on and, and checked out the people that were deadheads from San Francisco and all over. And there were people from New York looked like, you know, accountants on vacation. And, and then there were the people with the dreadlocks from the hills, you know, the rusta. People. Yeah, it's a little uh, surrealistic at times. It's it's pretty far out, but I think it's neat. Yeah. Well, I like the weather. <laughs> no, it's great. No, I think it's interesting. If it economically makes sense, I think that it will continue. And uh, I've always been one for wanting to do festivals around the world with different people in different lands and so it's right in that ballpark. I, I think it's great. Yeah, this could stack up with uh, world exotic events with the farmers being in Jamaica, a third world island country like this. Right. Uh, what is it all for you, uh, just out of the political uh, yeah. that we've got, you know, a country like Jamaica that's yeah. had its problems in the past and now through music could change it around? Well, um, I think music is, is one thing that d dissolves boundaries, which is obvious from the audience and is obvious from the event itself. And uh, I was just talking to Bubba Knight, Gladys Knight's brother, and uh, talking about a tour that I want to do called the California Beach Party, which is basically the concept is to tour with a, a big group of people, you know, which rep represents the musical taste of uh, maybe millions and millions of people and uh, for the right type of purposes. What's right to me is not political so much as environmental and humanitarian. I think that's the important thing that has to be done through music or through events such as this. Not to be political per se, but to be environmentally and humanitarian aware or conscious. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I prefer to hang my hat on, so to speak. <laughs> well, I was there at five. It was it four? I think it was five. Before they went on. Yeah, it was. It was real late or early, depending on how you look at it. And I think that's carrying a bit too far for me. But but I, I stuck around because I wanted to. I wanted to see what was happening. So it, it's just you know we have nothing else to do here except be here and enjoy the music, enjoy the uh, atmosphere, and the good vibrations, so to speak. So, it's going to be interesting to see how the beach boys that as we're seeing on this kind of audience, you know, we're such an all-American, white Anglo-Saxon group, you know, that, that it's, it's really far out that, you know, we're here with a very heavy uh, concentration of blacks in a country that's predominantly black. And I'm, I, I, think, I think it'll be fun and, and neat. It's a challenge, you know, something unique and different. Guys, Hi. What's going on? Entertainment tonight. Good. Here we go. Sweet baby kids. Sweet baby kids. Kids dance with us. I just want to show them to you. Good. Hey, hold them up. Hold them up on the camera. No, that's fine. That's fine. So, uh, what time do you expect to go on? I hope after this next group. You know, we're trying to get on sometime before midnight, but I don't know if we'll make it. Does Brian make it to the island? No. No, he's not touring right now. He's getting himself together uh, emotionally and physically, you know. He was overeating. He doesn't have any breaks, you know. He doesn't have any uh, real uh, discipline, so he's learning that now with a psychiatric program, hopefully. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, can't take that away from, from anybody, that, whatever their particular genius is. It, it's hard to obstruct, even even if 
I mean, even if you're messed up mentally or emotionally, it, the creative genius seems somehow to come through. It's, it's good. Yeah. Last time we saw you, Dean That's right. Dean of Jan and Dean. Yes, we've been playing a group of Southern colleges sponsored by Budweiser, as a matter of fact, and, and we've been having a good time. We do little things that you can't do with the Beach Boys because the Beach Boys is a big deal. You know, you, it costs a lot of money just to move the group, you know, and entourage. And, and uh, yet we can do clubs and small colleges with Mike and Dean, and it's just it, and events, you know, fun things, promotions. It's like a little Rolling Thunder review or something. Mini Thunder, yeah, mini. Not very much Thunder, a few little applause, yeah, really. but it's fun. All right, Mike, it's always good talking to you. Do you got any questions nice for our uh, MTV viewing audience and Playboy Cable? Or? MTV, Playboy Cable, uh, well, uh, you know, rock on. Uh, what can I tell you? Good vibrations, uh, fun, 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 etc. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Nice to see. You. Rock and roll. I think it's an escape from re from uh, the mundane realities of life into a into a into a little bit of a vacation, a little mini vacation for everybody. We're yeah. glad we're here with you too. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Mike, let me have you sign something for me.